it's Natalie Tasha. So today I'm going to be filming a back to school Q&A for you guys. I asked you on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat what questions you wanted me to answer. Answer. What questions you wanted me to answer for this back to school Q&A. So I'm going to be answering those questions and I'm sorry if like my camera was acting weird. So if my hands or like face is moving slower, God only knows. We'll figure it out. I'm also going to be announcing the winner of my giveaway at the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Also, if this is the first time you've ever seen my face, don't forget to click that subscribe button down there, down below. Subscribe to me because I'm a cool cat, I think. Kind of, not really. Also, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms so you guys can see what I'm doing when I'm not posting YouTube videos. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first question is from Jade Tran and she said, what's your go-to school outfit if you're running late? I, I mean, I have to wear uniforms for high school, but for the days that I'm going to college, I usually just throw in like a pair of jeans and like a white t-shirt, maybe some bands. I don't know, super casual, comfortable. Maybe if it's like a little colder, I'll put on leggings and like a sweater. But honestly, I mean, I've never been the type of person that like dresses up for school. So leggings and jeans and a t-shirt is basically my go-to. Maria says, how many times have you overslept and been late to school? Love you. Love you too, Maria. I've been late to school many times. I had English first period last year and I think I was late every single day of the second semester. I had the same teacher this year too. So when we were reading through the syllabus and talking about like the late policies and stuff, she goes, Natalie, Tasha, how about you read this one? I'm like, <laughs> this is so awkward. Mona Lisa said, what are you majoring in in college? I want to major in communications and then minor in business. I don't know if a lot of you know this. I know I posted it on my Snapchat, but I'm actually going to be doing half high school, half college this year so I'm taking three of the required classes to graduate in high school and three classes in college so I'm taking biological anthropology, uh, intro to mass communications for film, television, and media, and college about al college about algebra. <laughs> College algebra. I promise like I'm good for college. I just don't know how to speak. Okay, Hayoung Kim says, how do you manage school, YouTube, and social life? Um, I don't basically. I don't really sleep at all. For YouTube, I tend to try and film my videos on the weekend or I actually film my videos usually like the day before I'm going to post them. And then school, I've always been the type of person that doesn't really have to study. I just kind of like retain the information, which I know a lot of people are jealous about just because I literally never study, but I get good grades in class. And then I tend to do my homework like the morning of or right before class. So that's how I manage school. And as for social life, what, what's that? I don't I don't know what that means. Natashka, Natashka? I don't, I don't know, it's her Instagram name. Asked, how to be the new kid? I'm a junior and I just moved from Chicago to Florida. I know you did a video on this, but how do I make friends and who slash where do I sit for lunch? This is a hard one. I know I was the new kid at my new school, old school, the school I'm at now, a couple years ago. And it was super hard just trying to find friends. I was actually lucky enough to know a girl that was going there for my church So I sat with her for the first couple weeks and then just kind of like getting to know people in my classes They invited me to sit with them and at, at the school I'm at now like tables are a big thing because it's an all-girls school So like it's very clicky if you're going to a school where you don't know anybody Just try and find somebody in one of your classes and blatantly just say hey, you know, I'm new I don't know where to sit. Can I sit with you guys at lunch if they say no then whatever find somebody else But you definitely want to be the person to ask and not just sit by yourself It's a lot easier for you to go out of your way to like say hi nice to meet you I'm so-and-so I'm brand new than for somebody else just because you know it's like your situation so they already have your friends if you want to make friends just go out and say hello can I sit with you Fia Angelina says how do you stay motivated by the way I love you I love you too um how do I stay motivated that's actually a really good question basically okay in a school week because I know school can be very taxing and just like you don't want to go to school what I tend to do is I have like a few events during the weekends that I like look forward to so if it's Monday I'm like okay I know Saturday I'm going to Disneyland or whatever I'm going into an event or there's a party I'm just waiting for that day and then I try and have like one big thing every single weekend everything's constantly leading up to that that happens and then I only have to wait a week and then I just kind of like keep thinking about the different things that I have during the weekend that are fun and then I kind of just get through school that's kind of my motivation just having a good fun thing to do during the weekend Ari Lauren says favorite thing about school and least favorite thing about school my favorite thing about school is probably lunch and my least favorite thing is probably school Chloe Brown says tips on studying. I mean, I kind of mentioned this earlier. I don't really have to study. For me, what really helps though is if I do have a big test the next day. I don't think this works for a lot of people and I tell people this and they're like, that's not a real thing. And I'm like, no, 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 like I swear, I swear it works. But like, especially for history, I'll study for history like late at night, like midnight or something for about like 30 minutes to an hour. I'll go to bed and I'll end up like dreaming about what I just studied about. So when I wake up in the morning, I actually retain more information than I did when I went to bed. I don't know, it's weird. It's like a weird thing that happens. 
I don't know. Morgan Green says, what is my favorite subject? Math, I love math. I'm addicted to math. Like it's weird, but I love math. Like I know like 75 numbers of pi, I swear. I'm not a nerd, but like I kind of am a little bit. Megan Rose says, what's your advice for incoming juniors and taking the ACTs and SATs? My advice is don't wait. I know I waited to study for mine. I'm only taking it once just because I know I'm going to be applying as a transfer student. So they're not gonna be looking at my ACT super heavily. Plus I got a pretty good rate on it. I got a 28 out of 36, which is pretty good. For junior year in general, I know a lot of people say junior year is the hardest. Don't listen to them. My junior year was the easiest year of my life. Um, it's just basically how you think about it. Make sure to get good grades and study because that is the year that a lot of colleges are going to be looking at if you're planning on going to college. So don't procrastinate and don't do things that you wouldn't do to get a bad, good grade. I don't know, that, I don't know. Okay, Cynthia Nay says, how do you approach a cute guy in school? I start college on Monday at 17 and I'm nervous wreck. Okay, well I just started college, but how do you approach a cute guy? Honestly, make eye contact with guys. I think that's like one of the best ways to show that you are interested in a guy. So if there's like a cute guy sitting across your classroom or like next to you, just kind of like look at him sometimes and like smile. And then if he's looking back at you, he's interested in you. Guys, most of the time aren't gonna take the initiative. Guys are sometimes really, really shy, but kind of like play the guy a little bit. I know that sounds bad, but if you can tell like he's waiting for you after class at the stairs, like talking to someone to like walk up with you, take the elevator. Or if he's waiting at the elevator, take the stairs. Use flirty eyes and then you'll kind of be like leading him on, but at the same time, like you're very interested in him. So yeah, I think that's the best way to approach cute guys in college. <laughs> okay, I really like this question. I don't remember who said this because I took it on Snapchat. They said, what's your advice for the best high school experience? Honestly, being that it's my last year in high school and I'm not really experiencing my last year because I'm going to college too, just kind of take it in and don't take anything for granted. Definitely go to all your school dances and go to all the rallies, try to go as many like football and basketball games as you can. Just try to make as many memories as possible because I know that's something that I wish I would have done more in high school just to be able to be more involved in stuff um, because you don't realize how fast that's gonna go until it's your senior year and you're realizing, wow, I'm going to college next year and I'm probably not gonna see any of these people ever again. But anyways, that's it for my back to school q and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below when you guys start school. Also, it's time to announce the giveaway winner. Yeah, let me grab my phone, hold on. So the winner of all of my back to school giveaway stuff, ah, it's falling in. Drum roll, please. Ah, everything just fell. Haley Fassel, so I will be DMing you and getting your information and your address so I can send you all of your beautiful giveaway items. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms and subscribe to my channel to see new videos from me every single week. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye guys. Mwah.